you doing, Max? All right, buddy. How you doing? This <laughs> doing is Doug good. Jordan. Nice to meet you, Eric. Eric. Doug. Nice to meet you. I'm Eric. Yeah. This is Eric's elite cat service. Great. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. You guys ready to go catch some fish? We're ready. We're yeah, we can't do anything else. We can't plant any food plots or kill anything. So, <laughs> yeah. Time fish. <laughs> Absolutely. Do something all the time. So. Absolutely. What are we going to do this morning? Well, we're, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to hit these white bass that are, uh, there's a couple different areas that, that they're really going. And uh, we're catching them deep on jigging spoons, and then yep. as the sun comes up a little bit, then we'll go target some of those big spots and deep trees. Okay, good deal. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. All right. Let's All right. get after. white bass this morning. This is something Max and I are familiar with. Uh, we're going to be spooning, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. We'll be spooning and uh, basically what we're going to be doing is targeting these fish. They're really deep. There's a, a couple of different groups. There's some that are you know, kind of in that 20 to, to 30 foot range, but it seems like the bigger white bass are down there 55 to 60. So uh, we're going to use these 7 8 ounce War Eagle spoons. Um, they're white Basically, they just want to see something with a little flash down sure, there. Flash, but yep. I do a couple little things extra to it. I add some prism tape to it because when the sun comes up, I think it does really help in this clear water. Yep. Get a little bit more reflection. I think it does really trigger a couple more strikes. But uh, that's basically all we're going to be doing is we're going to be locating these fish on the graph. and uh, We're going to be jigging them? Yep. Okay. Yep, Getting just, down to a certain depth and giving them a little action. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of times with no rhyme or reason, you'll just be jerking there and sure. then it'll seem like you're hung up. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's a lot of people don't like to spoon, but I tell you what, it's one of the most exciting ways well, to fish. Oh yeah. We, uh, we learned that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, it's about six o'clock. We have lucked out and we've got some cloud cover here, which is unexpected. So I don't know how long it's going to last, but if it stays all day, we're going to be uh, a lot cooler. It's going to sure. be great. Absolutely. Maybe the white bass will bite longer too. You think? Yeah, okay. I think so. I think they'll bite a little bit better. Okay. I'm ready to put the whoop butt on you this time, buddy. Well, it'll be the, it'll be the <laughs> first time. I'm ready to do it. It'll this be time. the first time, yeah. Max. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, hey, I also do marriage counseling. <laughs> uh, well, it gets like that around. <laughs> a lot of times that graph will be completely clear. You won't mm -hmm. see anything, and then all of a sudden you'll just drop yeah. that spoon, and then it's like all these fish got a rocket <laughs> tied to their butt, and just <laughs> shooting straight up. This is, uh, this is actually our spoons going up and down, that jerking movement. See, you can actually see the spoon going up and down right wow. there. Wow. And there's a group of fish down here a little bit deeper, and there's some up in the upper water column, about 35 to 40 foot. Got one? Yeah. Pretty good when the guy tells you to let your lure down. Look at that in graph, see it dropping down, get where the fish are, and right there. That keeps you in it, that's a good guy. <laughs> and that's on a smaller one on the scale there. <laughs> and, and you know the, the cool thing is, you know, even though you, you you might know what depth of fish are at, you can see how they're acting on the graph. I mean you see them chasing. Yeah, them. yeah. You can see what mood they're in. There you go. <laughs> you bet he did. Oh, yeah, he just missed one. Don't start Sorry, poking him with your pole. Sorry, you not get on a fish. Is that what they look like? Okay. All right. <laughs> did you start guiding right out of the gate, Eric, or did you do something else for a while? Oh, gosh, I was a jack of all trades and a master of none. <laughs> I did anything and everything I could do to possibly, uh, you know, to uh, to just try to make it. You know, yeah. I had I never lost sight of this goal, though, and that's the thing that 
gosh, I can't stress to young kids and my nieces and nephews and stuff, if you want something, go get it. Yeah. Because anything is obtainable. If I, if I can do it, anybody can. Ultra clear water, man. You can see him down there about six foot. Just a small one, dude. <laughs> just a small one, dude. It's just a small one. I wouldn't even waste my time on a fish like that, Max. Well, that explains why I haven't been catching any fish. <laughs> Max was sabotage. That's sabotage. I know. Now, you two have been talking on the phone all this week. I, don't, I didn't have anything to do with it, so I, I know I see how it works now. Okay, dude. You say so. See how it works Let's now. See. It's a conspiracy, yeah. It's a conspiracy. See, that's what I'm talking about. You and Eric, you got tired of me kicking his butt on TV. <laughs> Is that big one? Pretty big one. You got a net on him? Nah. Nah, he got like enough. Oh, I hate that. I just really hate that. <laughs> I hate that, dude. Right in there, man. Yep. Yeah. 